you were highly recommended for this job. I hope you will not fail me. I was in the army. I smoothly accomplished many military tactics. This is not a job for me. It's alright, um, you have this. You will find pictures and addresses of, you know what I mean. If you come with good news, I will reward you handsomely. Okay? Consider it done. But remember, I don't joke with my money. Ah, come on, young man. You of all people should know that money is not an issue where I, the king, is concerned. Okay? You just do a clean job. And I can guarantee you, I can even give you three times the amount we agreed, okay? You go. I'll be on my way. Come do the job. Thank you. What? You mean you wiped out an entire lineage? My son, that was the greatest massacre that this land has ever experienced. What well, about um, with the help of the chief priest? A huge sacrifice was made and uh, the whole tension died. Was the chief priest in support of what you did? Well, he wasn't, but uh, he had no option. He had to obey me and uh, make sure that the secret is kept. However, I did some other things in order to quell everything. All right. So, what is happening now could be karma finding its way back. Karma obeys the gods. If you make peace with them, Kama will have no hold on you. Have you ever wondered why kings do a lot of atrocities and they go scot-free? It's simply because they appease the gods and the gods keep Kama away from them. If I appease the gods now, all this will stop. You should have appeased the gods long before now. This shame would have been averted. Well, the chief priest refused to perform the sacrifice. You know, and uh, I had to travel to Njama Kingdom, our neighboring village, to meet their chief priest, who agreed to help appease the gods. He's holding it. It should be done as quick as possible. Well, you're correct, but. Um, the requirements are not yet complete. I'm hopeful, very soon, they will be complete. Why did you say that I would die if you allowed the Ode Festival to take place? Your Majesty, there has been a heavy revelation from the gods, and it is pertinent that you hear it. What is the revelation? Say it. The gods said, if you introduce your son as your successor on the day of the Odi festival, he will die. You are a liar. My son will not die. The words of the gods cannot be disputed. Udoma, those words are not from the gods. Now, tell me the truth. Are you by any means I my throne? It will be a sacrilege for me to do so. I am the mouthpiece of the gods, and that I remain. You talk to me as if I know nothing. Now let me remind you, I am the great king 
of our magic kingdom. No one, I repeat, no one can sit on this throne except I hand over the staff of authority of this kingdom to that person. If you think that I will hand over the staff of authority to any other person apart from my son, then you have another thing coming. You have stained this throne. The gods frown at you. Then tell me. Tell me how we can appease the gods. After all, you are the chief priest. The gods did not permit me to do so. In that case, you have no business here. Now leave my palace and never come back. Leave! What are you still waiting for? That was how I sent him away and ordered him not to come close to the palace again. Father, you shouldn't have thrown him away. I'm sure if both of you are still together, he would have found a way out of this problem. I oh, know he won't. As a king to be, you have to learn how to read the handwriting on the wall. That way, you will know when to move or stay. At a point, I noticed that uh, he was opposing my orders. I was no longer carrying out my instructions. He started telling me things that I am sure were not from the gods. That was when I knew that he was working with some bad people to take away the throne from my family. But, Father, are you sure the chief priest of Njama will find a lasting solution to this problem? I sense fear in your voice. Kill that feeling. That is if you want to be a king. My son, the future of any kingdom lies in the hands of the king. Well, after appeasing the gods, I will reshape this land and abolish any tradition or deity that contradicts my wish for this kingdom. What took you to that kingdom? Not even in the village, but in the palace. Mama, do I need to say this over and over again? I told you that I love working in the palace. You know that about me. So why are you still asking me? You are no longer going to do that job again. Why? I, I'm no longer comfortable with your job. Comfortable? Well, how? Didn't I tell you I, I've been promoted? I'm no longer the gate man. How do you think I've been getting money to, to be doing all these things in, in, in this house? Mama, please don't go there. Or please, don't, don't even go there. Well, Mama, come to think of it. That job is not really bad, though. Hmm? Brother here has been taking care of a lot of things in the house. He's been using the money he gets from there to take care of us. Will you shut up? Shut up! Ken Kema! What do you know? Oh, only Fema! Brother, I'll be taking care of you. Must you take a job because the pay is high? Eh? Before you take any job, you have to kneel down. Ask God to reveal the secret behind the job to you. To be well here. He's no longer going to work there, or Mangawa, unless he will kill me first. Mama, what, what do you mean? I am the personal assistant to the heir apparent to the throne. When he becomes the king, do, do, do you know what that means? Eh? What could possibly happen to me in the palace where they have security all over? Also, okay, we're a personal assistant to uh, God. That is what makes sense. Mananka, personal assistant to her apprentice to the throne. Okay, for Let me tell you, 
I have been having serious nightmares concerning that uh, palace. So I don't want anything to happen to you. You are my only child. I'm my only son. What will happen to me now? It's because you've been thinking a whole lot about the palace. You've been thinking. That's why. Nothing will happen to me. See, eh? I have already told your uncle to get a job for you in the city. Akwe for the palace, huh? You are no longer going to work there unless you will kill me. Talk to your brother, Akwe. You are not going back there. Did I tell you I need a job? Please do. You people are spreading fake rumor about the palace simply because you want to bring the king down. Uh -uh. Will I, a title chief, condemn my own king just because of uh, no tangible reason? Look, I saw Adaisi run mad even before the king and his wife. I witnessed it firsthand. This sounds very dirty to be true. I mean, what could make a member of the royal home go mad? It is impossible. Very impossible. Nemesis is befalling this land right under our nose. And we are all keeping quiet. I think we should force the king to say what is going on. Did you say force? <laughs> Did you hear yourself talk? Are you okay? I'm very okay. Let us at least mobilize the youth to host a protest against the king. The king must tell us what is happening in this community. I will not be part of this dirty plot against the king of the kingdom. A king that has been good to every person in the kingdom. Agreed you could have some flaws. But that does not mean that we are all clean. No one is perfect. Neither you nor I. I am out of here. <clears throat> I will not be part of this too. I am leaving two of you. Our mm. former. Even you. Yes. Our former. <laughs> Let them go. go away. We know what to do. Yes. What I've been told. Let yes. them go. Let them go. Oh no, I have the gods. Your heart is heavy. Yes, indeed, my heart is heavy. Some people are rising up against the king. And I don't think it would be fair for you to sit down here and allow that to happen. Oh no. Are you aware that the gods are not happy with the king? Yes, I am aware. But it is not for us the subjects to discipline the king for offending the gods. Why protest against the king who has done well to his people? It is unfair. Oh no. Only the gods know what is fair and unfair. But take this home. A mighty rain is about to fall in Amaji. It is time for every man to go into his barn and count his yams. Because you never know how many you will lose when the time comes. And the gods. What is it that can affect us like that? What have we done? The gods cannot be unfair. No man can harm who is at peace with his chief. Keep that at the back of your mind. Of the gods, I have heard you. Obidi, Aneloka. Chichi, I greet you. Welcome. Thank you very much. You are the most influential youths we have in this land. There is a big problem that we need your influences to act on. Hey, 
Oche. What is the problem that we don't know about? Mm, yes, I believe that uh, this land is the envy of other communities. Yes, Oche. Talk to us. What is this big problem you are talking about? Have you heard of the Ode Festival before? Yes. My father told me about that festival, which I've been looking forward for. That is just the problem. <laughs> you see, the king avoiding that festival means there is something he's holding that he's not telling us. We have discussed this and praised for the king to do this festival or to tell us the reason why he is food dragging on doing this festival. But he has refused to talk to us. I mean, that's not a big problem. If the king has refused to do the festival, I mean, that means it is not important. You won't understand. <laughs> you will not understand. That is just the problem. Yes. A very big problem. How? Now, let me tell you. His refusal in doing that festival means that he's holding a secret against this land that we need to know. Ichie. Yes. What do you want us to do? Good. Tell yes. us. Okay. What do you want us to do? Mm. You see, uh, we might not be able to fight him. For he is the king. He can decide whatever he wants to do. But we can protest against him. Yes. You see, we can make him know the power of the masses. Oh, yes. Just mobilize the youths. Yes. And let us show him what the strong power of the, of the masses could do. <laughs> what is funny here? <laughs> it's here. Ichie, listen to yourself. I mean, did you hear yourself speak? Wait, 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 wait. Ichie, so you want us, you want us now to lose the little respect we've managed to gather from these people. Right? But this is what is beneficial to all of us. I mean beneficial to all of us. So, two of you are the enemies of the king. Mm. Yes. yes. No, 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 no. You are getting it all wrong. You are getting it wrong. Eh? Look, look at this man. We are fighting for the for good the of the masses and of this the land. Community. We are fighting for the good of the land. I cannot believe this. So, the both of you want to use us. Mm -hmm. To protest against the king. A king that has favored every single member of this community, including both of you. of you. You two are evil. Say. You are evil. You are getting it all wrong. You are getting it wrong. We are not evil. Mm. So what the, are you? the truth of the matter is this: that, that the king might be concealing a secret which might turn out later to haunt the entire community. That is the dangerous aspect of this. <laughs> Ichie. Ichie. Yes. I have marked your faces, Ichie. 
anything that happens to the king and the royal family, the youths will hold you responsible. We will not take it lightly with you. We are not quarreling with you people. We are just laying our mind. We are, Let's leave this man. We are trying to you are evil tell you something that is important. Evil men with red caps. Evil men. Look, look at the both of you. See their caps. Think about it, too. They might, not, they might not understand. They might not understand. That is but the problem. Time will tell. Yes. Zuba, I think I like this your new job. Very, very easy and the pay is good. Yes, sir. Mm. I'm more like the prince's personal assistant now. All I do is to advise him. You know, and follow him around with a good payment. Is it not good? Yeah. You know, I frowned at you going to that place to work as a gate uh -huh. man. And I know Mama would not be happy to hear that that time. That's what I was telling you people that time. At least you must have to start from somewhere. Look at me today. But the problem I'm having right now is, is Mama. Mama is just giving me headache. She doesn't want me to work there. I don't understand. Didn't you tell her that you're no longer the gift man, that you've been promoted to the personal assistant? I did though. I told her. But because of her constant nightmares and all of that, she's just against it. No, no, no. You have to talk to her. You don't have to miss that job. Me, I even want to work in that palace. My brother, I have spoken to Mama. There is no how I have not, in fact, made her see reasons with me, but she's just against it. So this is the part you need to step in. Come and help me talk to her. Let her see reasons. Let her understand that this is a good opportunity. Golden opportunity people have been looking for. Please. I can't lose that job because of her. I can't. What if Mama's fears are right? Huh? What if there is something scary about that job that you don't know? How? That job is too lucrative to be real. You know, my father once told me that I should not drink water because it's served in a golden cup. Content of golden cups are not golden as the cup. You have to think about it. Consider what you've seen so far in that job. Not that want to become you must pass through fire. No one picks up a dead lion. Right in his compound, and they may know only the gods can do that to you. Makadio to Ada, cause he fall for no name. I will not make me ready at your church, and Messiah gave me. Unsubetting, Mamma, Unsubetting, Unsubetting, Mamma. Because he loves you so much, Zuba. I'm a man, Brother, brother, what is it? You've been moody since you came back. Talk to me, what is the problem? <sighs> this life. I don't know what women really, really want. I saw a former. Brother, forget about that girl and move on. Since you started dating one useless guy like that, she has been misbehaving. Please forget about her, Joe. Honestly, I am heartbroken. That girl gave me the impression that she cannot live without me. She made me believe that she's so much in love with me. Mm. Huh? Be because of what? 
even if I walk where they pack feces, is, is, that, is that why she will give up on, on our love? Mm. Eh? Is love not for better for worse? Mm, brother. What did I really do wrong for her to leave me like that? Ha! Brother. Mm -hmm. Brother. Thank God that that girl left on time. Mm. You see? She has shown her true color. Ha! Brother, that girl does not really love you. Mm -mm. She does not love you. Because if she truly loves you, she wouldn't leave you. Or probably, okay, let's just say she will leave. But at least, whenever she sees you, she's supposed to accord you some respect. But no, she wouldn't. So, brother, you should be thanking God for saving you from future problems. Ah. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, there is something I just found out. I think you have to come back. We we'll have a lot to discuss. Oh, okay, okay, sir. You want me to start coming now? It's already late. Uh, you have to come back tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Okay, okay, sir. I'll, I'll come tomorrow. The first thing... You are going nowhere. Hello? Please, I don't know who you are. And I don't want to sound rude to you. My son is no longer coming to work for you. Go and get another kid, man. Did you hear me? Who is this? I, I, I am, I am his mother. I am his mother. Leave me alone. Get, my... get another gate man for yourself. Give my phone. Mom, mom, mom. What is she saying? What is wrong with? What is this now? What, what, what is the meaning of this? This is wrong now. This, this, this is wrong. What is wrong? Is it Jesus Christ? Can't I talk to him as I want? You are no longer going to that place, so. You are not going to work for them. I will not forgive myself if anything happens to you. You are my only son. Eh? I have, I, I, they have shown me everything about that palace. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens, you are not going back. Talk to your brother. Unless you want to kill me or you want to beat me, you are not going there. I don't know why my mind is like this. See? You, you, you better talk to Mama. You better talk to her. You better talk to her. I, I, I won't take this next time. Oh. What, what, what's the meaning of this now? But, but brother, come to think of it. Coming to drag my phone. Brother, 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 calm down. Hmm? But come to think of it. Whenever you see mama behave like this, that means she's sure of her feelings. Are, are, are you mad? Are you, are you mad? We, 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 what kind of stupid feelings? I should leave, leave this lucrative job for what? What kind of stupid feelings is that? Okay, 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 brother, calm down. Calm down, okay. I don't even know what to tell the prince. Brother, brother, calm down, please. Calm down. Okay, even if you have to go back to the palace, you have to pray to God and ask for his directions. Hmm? Okay, you have to pray to God very well. Please, enough of this. Please, please, please enough you. of this first. Ah. What the hell are you talking about? Huh? Uh, uh, Your Majesty, you know I am not the one carrying out all this operation myself. Are you not stupid? Huh? You don't want to take responsibility for your actions? You told me you were going to recruit trusted hands. Yes, Your Majesty, but... They don't want but! Save that explanation to yourself. Now let me warn you. My name must not be mentioned. Is that okay? Make sure you clear your mess. Is that understood? Yes, Your Majesty, but they are capable. You just put nonsense. Capable how? They are capable and they were caught? Huh? Now, if my name is mentioned, if my name is dragged along the mud, you will regret ever crossing path with someone like me. Get out of my sight, idiot. Get out. Gods are in tears. 
man has failed the gods. And the gates of shame has been thrown open against this land. Eye of the gods, how do we arrest this evil that is looming over this community? Igbe Jogu has to listen. His mind should be able to grow the words of the gods in his subconscious so that what started as celebration will not end in great shame. See? But he doesn't listen to anybody. I think you should help us talk to the people. Let them know that the king they love so much holds evil against this land. How dare you try to turn the people against the throne? Do you want to punish the man who has offended the gods? No. But we shouldn't allow him to bring shame to us. Whatever he did, he did against the gods. Do not be more concerned than the gods. All you have to do is pray that the gods will protect you and your household from the evil wind that is already blowing. Try not to play on the wear of the wind. Mr. So Gadara. Anam. a terrible nightmare last night and I have not been myself since morning. The same with me. I, I think it's time we remove our mind from the fat amount we've been paid here. Eh? It's mm. high time we left now. My dear, <sighs> I have already told the queen that I want to leave. And she asked me to stay to you next week so that she will find a replacement for me. Wicked you are. Eh? So we are this wicked. I've been saying I want to leave, I want to leave. Are you for discouraging me not to? So you want to leave and you don't even bother to tell me. No, no, please don't take it that way. I don't just want it to look as if I am discouraging other people from staying. Just because I want to go. Oh. Please understand me. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Mm? So you want to leave me here? You want to leave me here, Abby? I thought we are friends. So this is how bad you are. All this your beauty. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Cello, all this your beauty. When people are seeing you, they will think you are innocent. But you are so wicked. No problem. I've heard you. No problem at all. Hey, hold it. So bad, bro. Mom. Mom. You don't look happy. What troubles you? Son, two of the palace mates want to leave. But mom, that shouldn't bother you. There are more than a million people who are willing to work here if they have the chance to. It doesn't cost anything to replace them. So if they want to go, they can go. So replacing them is not the problem. I think I know why they want to leave. I guess they are afraid. I can feel some negative energies in this palace. I think they are feeling it too. Mom, could you believe Nzubichi's mother told me over the phone that Nzubichi would never come back to this palace to work again? 
Oh, no. I was shocked when I heard it. No. He cannot leave you at this time. Yeah, exactly my point. What could be scaring them all away in this palace? I don't understand. Even if we can replace every other person, how do we replace Zubechi? Huh. Oh my God. I know how helpful he has been to you. Son, I think replacing them is not the problem. We need to find solution to the main problem. I think I know the problem now. I just need someone that will help me find a solution to this problem. You do? So you mind sharing with me? Dead man. Mm -hmm. Dead man, I know you are a grandfather in this business. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you can help me out. You know what? I'm only going to do this for you. And that is because I've heard so much about you. And I love hard men. You know you are a hard man. Hmm? But you know I don't joke with my money. Dead man. Your money is not the problem. Tell me the price and I will pay you in full. I like the sound of that. I really love that sound. That's not a problem. You see, for those guys already in the net, I'm going to silence them before they start singing like parrots. As for the virgins, like I said, I will get those ones for you before the weekend. Hmm? Thank you so much. Hmm. I really appreciate it. I don't like verbal appreciations. I only feel it drops into my account. Bwah! Like the words collapse into the ground. I hope you understand what I mean. Dead man, I understand everything. That's good. Like I said, let me know your price and I will pay you in full. But for the virgins, it's very, very important. I already told you about those virgins. That is even the smallest of them all. And like I said before, I will provide them before the weekend. Dead man, I trust you. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you. Hmm? You don't have a problem. What is it? Are you okay? Right. Yeah. Mama, uh, th this is the Crown Prince of Amaji Kingdom. <gasps> hey, Your oh. Highness, you are welcome to our poor home. I'm, I'm sorry, hope we have not offended you. Oh, not really, Mama. Please, I've come to ask you for a favor. Um, um, Mama, Mama, let me go inside and um, get a seat Go and get him. a seat for him. Zubichi, mm -hmm. are you okay? Mm -hmm. You sure? I will make sure he returns here safely. He has always told me how much he loves working at the palace. Maybe it's his destiny to help you in your own time. But you will promise me that nothing will happen to him. You know, 
He is my only son. He is all I've got. Please, if you promise me that, I will leave him to go with you. I give you my word. I have guards that always protect the palace. The gods of my land also keep the palace of danger. I give you my word again. Thank you. Zube, what are you waiting for? Why don't you go in there, dress up and bring your bag? Don't keep the prince waiting. Are you sure he's okay? He's fine. He just woke up from sleep, as you know. Yeah. But you don't look like it. I expect that you should be happy by now. Isn't that what you always wanted? I just had a terrible dream right now. I just wish I can tell Mama about it. Brother. Please don't try it. Whatever dream you had, please don't tell Mama. I am very certain that if you tell her anything about dreams, she wouldn't let you go anywhere. Please, don't try it. Please, I was doing something at the backyard. Let me continue. Just give me water to drink. Okay, brother. <laughs> Because loves you so much. Oh, please manage this. I will always come to check on you. Ah. Hey, you call this manage? It's too much, Joe. Oh. Have it. Um, thank you very much, Your Highness. You're welcome. May God bless and replenish for you in two million folds. Please. Take good care of my son for me. Like I told you before, he is all I have. Biko. You have nothing to worry about. Thank you once again. It's all right. <sighs>
Hey, it's here. It's here. Yes, so be the worst. What my eye just saw. Now, now, now. Yeah? My mouth cannot tell. My mouth cannot tell it's here. Oh. You saw the mad princess running, right? It's here. You have seen her too. It hasn't just start today. Oh yes. You see, when I was telling you the other time that we should protest against the king, you thought I was being rebellious. Oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is just the beginning of strange things you are going to be seeing in this land. Ah. You were laughing the other time I was telling you about. Ichie, no, no. What is the worst that will happen again, Ichie? The princess is mad. What are we going to do, Ichi? <laughs> well, I must tell you, I have decided to renege on anything that has to do with this kingdom. Oh yes, what I have decided now in my mind is, whatever happens, my own is just to sit down, watch, and walk away. Oh yes, anyway, for your information, before you stopped me, I was having an important thing I was going to do somewhere. Ichi. So please, I beg to leave. Ichi, princess is mad. Ichi. Ichi. Hi. Your Majesty, I'm finished. I am finished in this land. What are we going to do? How are we going to best this shame? Hi! Look, woman, calm down. What is it? Eh? Okay. I'm trying to handle the situation the best way I can. Okay. Are you panicking? Your Majesty. This is a big shame. This is a big shame. Our enemies will laugh at us. She should have gotten out of the palace in the first place. Where were the guards when she left? Oh no, what is this? Eh? Why are you panicking like a woman? Where in this world has panicking solved any problem? Eh? People should please calm down. I'm trying to make calls here to, so that I can resolve this issue. You're just disturbing me with your panicking. What is this? I am sorry, Your Majesty. Is with the majority. Okiri kiri kana bukwa sa dianenu. Oh, because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder it, yo. Bonya chimeleze. Bonya chimeleze. What the gods say must stand up. When you chip a lesson, when you chip a lesson, if a chip a lesson, what the gods say must stand up. You see her? I don't see her. Eh? Hey. You mean you don't see her? So you didn't see her? Hey! Did she disappear into the tin? How do we even go back to the palace and stand before the king and tell him that we do not see her? There is no way we will go back to that palace if you don't see her. Because it's better we search for her even till tomorrow. We can't go back to the palace without her. You know that. Let's, let, let's go, let's go back. Let, let, come. No freedom. 
in this palace, everybody is a suspect. This is the height of it. Why is the queen taking it too long to approve my resignation now? What is wrong with you? Eh? How do you reason things, Amaka? Adeze is mad. And the only thing you could think of is leaving the palace. Don't even try to preach to me again. This is a palace. Nothing happened for no reason. Eh? Can't you see it? All the time everybody will be shouting, hey, 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 as if they saw a ghost. A strange force is haunting this palace, and I am not afraid to say it. Ha. I think I'm beginning to believe Amaka on this so. Kids! Even you. My nightmares these days is becoming something else. I have even told the queen that I want to leave. What? Yes. Leaving the palace at this critical time is so unfair. My dear, we are not siblings. We are not even created on the same day. So it's obvious we don't have anything in common. If it's your destiny to risk your life just to save this palace, then it's not my destiny to do so. I have a family to take care of. So I'm leaving here first thing tomorrow morning, with or without the queen's approval. Do you understand it? But every time everybody will shout, hey, 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 see if they're so good. Please don't leave. Hmm. I was even the first to tell the queen that I want to leave the palace. <laughs> yes. It's better to stay without a job than to have a job that gives you no peace of mind. Hmm. I'm leaving you now. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going. I can't stay here anymore. Kate, please don't leave. Ah. I am begging you. Please no. don't leave. I will leave you. Oh, because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder it, go. When you chip a lesson, if a chip will what because say, must stand when you chip a lesson, The princess have gone mad again. The princess? Yes. Oh no, not again. Not again this time. Ah. Why? You can go, 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 go. I'll, I'll join you in. I'll join you in. Okay. Really getting out of hand. I'll do the best I can as long as she stays here. But I suggest you 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 send her abroad. I mean, since we have not been able to dictate any fault in her system that could lead to this, I think she should be sent to a place where sophisticated equipment can be used to examine her. But I would like her to be here while I prepare her document. If that be the case, then she can stay here as long as you want it. But, you know, issues like this are not meant to be kept for a long time. Did you notice that Nzube was not happy while leaving? Hmm. Yes, Mama. He said he had a scary dream before the prince came. So, Are you serious? Then why didn't you tell me about it? 
Mama Uzube is a man. He can handle whatever challenges that comes his way. So stop treating him as if he's a child. Okay, he can take care of himself. When you become a mother, you will know the reason mothers are worried whenever their children are facing danger. See, it takes pain to pet a child. But raising the child will cost a chunk of your life. Mama, Mama, come off it. It's only God that protects his children. Even if Brother and best stays there with us, if God turns his eyes away from him, he won't still be saved. So the only thing we can do for him is to pray for him. Mama, I've been praying for him. I hope you've been doing so. That's the only thing. So, don't need to bother ourselves. Every mother prays for her children. God, please. <laughs> Protect my son for me. Mama, you worry too much, you know. Don't don't bother yourself. Brother's bay is fine. I was doing something inside. Hmm? Don't need to bother yourself. Because we must come to pass. No matter how them try to hinder it. It is done. All the special burdens on your shoulder have been lifted off. You are now free.